Hello guys, in this video we will uh, we will learn uh, how to create widget example. Uh, last video we've done the CMS block, uh, this time we will go with the uh, widget. For start we have to create a new module, module.xml and then we'll be training widget example, then we will have a registration file, training widget example then I will need a controller so we can display the widget on uh, on that page first of all we need a configuration front the root ID will be widget example the same thing for the front name widget example and then the name the module name training widget example one word then remove the before so this will create us the configuration file and now we need the controller so in the controller we will have controller index now we need a declare and then namespace it as training index class index implement action interface and then we need factory page factory in the index constructor and then this will be page factory and we just initialize it and now we need to implement the execute method the execute method simply return this page factory create we run the setup upgrade enter setup upgrade now we run the setup upgrade i will have to go to the home page i think what i need to do is we need to access this controller this controller can be accessed from the front name which is widget example and then index index so we will have widget example index index so you can see now we are on the blank page it just said uh, it just displays the default and that's fine we don't have any meta titles we don't have any data in here which is fine we're not interested in it we are only interested in the a widget so let's go ahead and create the widget so first of all what we need from the widget is a configuration file but before creating the configuration file we need a block so we will have class called block block widget so it's up to you how to name it and then I'll just call it uh, probably just call it title the type and name space it as training widget class extends the normal template the normal template class uh, every every uh, block extend from it and then implement block interface this block interface comes from magento widget block block interface when you create a widget your block has to implement this interface this interface has nothing to it just add data and set data and they are already set in this template class so you don't need to override them so I just use short name here and now you are set to go now what we need to do is a template that is bind to this uh, to this block so we will create this template now so it's a view front end and then title.phtml so this is the phtml file that is will be bind to this title class we just have some doc block this block will be this one so let's copy this and in this block we need to do block that's all we need what we need to do is just display a dummy data which is a title it's not a very big deal but it just we show it, we showing only an example of it so now we have this we need to provide it as a protected template equals so let's have this inside folder or directory called widget so we know everything in this is a widget and this belongs to a widget and then in the title you just call widget and then the name of the template which is title phtml you are declaring the template here from title which is whatever comes after template then widget widget and then title this title and that's it we're done in terms of php what we need to do is we need to do the configuration the configuration is done via widget.xml widgets we call multiple widgets 
So it's a widget with a singular. So the ID will be widget example. The class is this one. I remove this. And then I don't need all, all this configuration. So we just leave it as is. So there is a label. The label I'm calling it as a widget example. And then the description. I'll just do it as a widget example as well. So now we will need parameters. So parameters and then inside parameters there will be a single parameter. The parameter will be title and then a soft type string. So I will do XSI type equals string and then I give it a name which is, uh, sorry I give it a label which is parameter I need a label, I'll give it as a title uh, let's let's run setup upgrade and see setup upgrade. sorry this need to be text now let's go to the magento side admin it's login now we go to content and then widgets, create a new widget and then we would have this widget example. This widget example design theme as Luma, continue. Now once you continue, you select it for all stores, widget title, just say for my first widget. So, so in the widget options, you have the title, test widget and now save. Now we saved it, but we need to display it here on this on this page but we don't have access to it right now so let's go ahead and try that we will need to create a cms block so i'll go cms block add a new block my and then the identifier widget example block all stores and now here you can insert the widget this is insert widget you go ahead here and then select the widget you just say the title and i'm calling it my first widget from cms insert widget and then save now i need to display the cms i will have layout widget example is the id in the route in the index.xml in the body the container reference container reference container content create a block name it as say my widget and then the class will be magento gms block block arguments block id will be string and then let's see what's the identifier here um, in here so this will be displayed here so let's go ahead and flush cache block html and here you go my first widget from cms block this is how it is displayed so first of all what we've done to uh, wrap up first of all we created the controller that's this is has nothing to do with the widget we just wanted a page to display the widget on so this is the controller and we should just forget about it however we need to create a block the block will extend the template just a normal block but it has to implement the block interface which comes from magento widget block block interface so it has to implement this interface once we created this we created a template phtml template inside the widget folder so it's in view templates widget title and it just display title this title is being configured in the configuration file the block and the html and then what we've done is we just created the widget there as a configuration so this is the widget it has an id and it has a class which is the block we created already and then you give it a label you give it a description and then you give the parameters for it so the parameter we given is as a title with type as text and then there is title as label now this is created and this is done the other thing we had to do is to create a cms block and then inside the cms block we inserted that widget example from this from the insert widget in the editor we inserted this and then we saved it as we created this CMS block and then we use this identifier to load this block inside the page. So this is the layout file and then inside the content we display this CMS block. But since the CMS block has the widget inserted it inserted in it, then it displayed as you can see in here. I hope this is helpful and I see you in next video.